You know what, hey? No mobile phones while the podcast is on, Reese. <laughs> sit a bit closer and all. But if you're gonna sit back, pull the chair further and slouch backwards. Yeah. Found. You okay? I'm, I'm You're right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, sit back further up, mate. Oh, that's better. Oh, look outside. It was a nice day, now it looks shite. Yeah. It's England for you, isn't it? Mm. Right. Do you want to have that round there? And I'll keep looking over. Just so you can see what's coming up. Come on. You ready? Yeah. Hello and welcome back to the Harrison Fletcher podcast. To join with me, Harrison Fletcher and... Reese Goodwin. It's back in the room again. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, so successful last time, we thought... We, I said we thought, I thought that Reese should join the show again. How are you feeling about that? Um, privileged. Um, I'm a... Uh, Icon now, aren't I? <laughs> Icon! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you were saying a lot of people liked the last podcast, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if they were shitting me like, or just... Um, shitting you? Like... <laughs> bullshitting me. <laughs> oh, they were being honest, but... No, it was a good podcast, and I think the viewer... It got a lot of views, didn't it? Like, well, for this channel it did. For the, for the podcast channel. It got a lot of, like, views and stuff, so... Mm. A lot of listens, I should say, really. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah. But first of all today, we're going to go straight into a little uh, a little topic about our favourite films. Now, we've come up with the <laughs> ideas... Oh, here it goes, coffee away. <laughs> we've come up with these ideas, um, like, to... Here it goes, get your coffee out, and then I'll carry on. Go on. <laughs> yeah, right now? I'm with it. He's having a sneeze, man. Here it goes. That's it, that's get a big, we're, all, we're all coughing in a minute. <clears throat> right, so, we've come up with these ideas... <laughs> <laughs> we'll come up with these ideas um, for the podcast. You're, it, you're taking the piss now. We'll come up with these ideas uh, pretty much <laughs> about two seconds before starting this video. <laughs> so it might be a bit shit, but it's probably it's probably be all right. I think I think we'll we'll get through it. So uh, it's just a matter of just talking and carrying on. So Reese, what are what are your favourite films? I'll let you ramble. Um. My favourite film is Forrest Gump. Your favourite, that's your favourite film number one? Favourite film number one. And you've got one. no rivals for that one? No. So what's, what's why is that your favourite film? Um, because, um, just say classic, can it? It is good, Forrest Gump is good. It's classic in like, like everyone, like, I think it relates to everyone. Yeah, but the thing, the thing that's good about it, Forrest Gump, is the fact that it, kind of tells a lot of stories, doesn't it? It's mm. kind of got the main story along the way yeah. of him finding himself sort of thing and being like a man. <laughs> but I think it tells a lot of stories along the way, like a lot of subplots, like making friends and doing the right thing, that sort of okay. thing. My mum and dad used to call me Forrest Gump. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> because like, because, um, <laughs> could you <laughs> walk? No, I could walk, but no, way, good. <laughs> I used to try and run. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work either until now. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I think it's hard to pick my favourite film. I tell you, or Imitation Game. Imitation Game is a good film. That, that's good. Imitation Game is a good film. I like films that are based on true stories. Me. Um, mm. A film I watched recently that a lot of people always rave about is Shawshank Redemption. I always used to poo-poo that, and uh, I watched it recently. It's only because when I first watched it, I was only young. Um, so when I watched it, I was like, oh, this is boring. It's mm. just about a guy in prison for 20-odd yeah. for 20 years. And then it gets out and that, so what a waste of time filming that film. <laughs> but as you get older, you re I, I watched it and I thought, God, that's a good film. It tell it's su such a cool film. Have you seen it? Never seen it. Never no. seen it. About a guy that's in prison, and then gets out. It, basically, is it him who's um, Morgan Freeman's in it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because he's black, and then like a family of white, a white family. No, that's another film. It's another film. That I think mean, you think. What are you thinking of you? I don't know. Not your professor. No, it, it's um, it's uh, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> let, let me say, fuck you now. Go on then. Um, 
it's like this uh, man who's been in jail for so many years, but is all like is is not guilty, but they've still sent him to prison. And this um, family like tries and get gets him out, but I think it's a new film. And Morgan Freeman's in that one as well. This is this is an old film I'm on about. Oh, right. Shawshank Redemption's quite old. Yeah. We've watched it when we were a kid. <laughs> it's not going to be new, is it? No. True. Um, some other good films that I like. I like. I'm just going to list a lot of films to be honest that I like. I like Inception. Oh no. I like. Go on, why don't you like it? A bit boring, isn't it? Boring? Yeah. Why? Why do you find it boring? Too twisted. I like that though. I like it got a lot of twists. It's not. It's not got a lot of twists in it really. Yeah, but it's, it's more just a complicated idea. I see. That's why. Why I like Forrest Gump. It's straightforward. <laughs> straight, straight to the point, it's simple. And you get in the narrate. What about that film that we went to see recently that we went with, with Adam and Nathan and all that lot? And you you didn't like it. But we all liked it. That was. Um, do, do you know what I'm on about? Because you were like, I didn't, you didn't like. It, what were it now? Uh, it was a remake, wasn't it? Mad Max. Mad Max. Hey, hey, Ma hey, that film. Hey, Mad Max. Weren't Don't they? see point in that. Uh, it no, it oh. weren't Mad Max. It were Mad Max, weren't yeah. it? Yeah, and I'm I sure hated it. Were. it. And like, I thought it really well, good. What about that man? Drums. He's always there on drums when they're driving. What's the point in him? <laughs> I nearly knocked the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point in him? I don't know, it's just good. It's like, just drumming for take. Maybe you could start about loads of things in films, couldn't you? <laughs> no. You could. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> and like now it's just pointless, it's just a shit film. Yeah. Um, another film I like, I, what did I see recently I really liked? The Girl on the Train is a good film. That's had a bit of, have you seen it advertised? The Girl on the Train. It's got bad reviews though, right, hasn't it? It's got mixed reviews, I've seen just mixed reviews, like good and bad. Uh, I liked it. I think the important thing with films, in I know, I know everyone is like, entitled to their own opinion and that, that's what makes films good, but I think a lot of people these days will judge a film on what other people are saying. Yeah. That seems to be the gist of what, what's happening, I think. A lot of people are like, oh, that's a bit shit, because... Like Suicide Squad. I, I, I thought it would... I thought it would... It, all right. Mm. Like, to watch it, I'm like, yeah, it's all right, that. It's all right. Like, but because everyone else was like, oh, it's shit, it's shit. When I went to see it, it kind of ruined it for me. Like, I already thought, it's going to be shit. I hope it's not shit, this. And, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but everyone was comparing it to box. And everyone was comparing it to like Batman vs Superman and stuff yeah. like that. And uh, Avengers, it was getting compared mm -hmm. to Avengers. Um, it, was, it was getting compared to Marvel. Uh, and it's a completely different... It's a different story. The thing with DC is DC stories are a lot, a lot darker than, than Marvel. Yeah. The, the, the storylines are a lot more, like I'd say, mature to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. It's not... You know what I mean? Um, what else were I going to say about a film that I liked recently that I went to see? Um, I can't think. I like a lot of films. I, I do, I do. I just can't really think what film it were. Swiss Army Man. That was good. With Daniel Radcliffe. You know what? I thought one up to standard. It's Swiss Army Man? No. What? Jungle Book. You didn't like Jungle Book? No. Why? Not great. Why not? It, it missed loads of bits out. Like what? Like, like at the end, Mowgli never met his love at last. <laughs> <laughs> love of his life. Didn't yeah, it? but it's kind of like. Yeah, that, that, that's part of Jungle Book, that. That's a pinnacle point of. Yeah, I, 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 to be honest, when I watched it, I thought I thought that would happen and I thought you'd see a, a, a lass and thought, hey, up. <laughs> hey, up. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting off here now. <laughs> See, see you in a bit, Wolfgang. Wolfgang. <laughs> I'm going. Ta ta, big billow. <laughs> you can keep singing your shit songs, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sing new songs. <laughs> that, I, I, I liked it, I liked it though. I liked Peter, uh, Pete's Dragon were good. Pete's Dragon oh, was I good. Seen but that. I've seen the original, and I grew up watching the original. Um, so I, 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 man, eh? I, I, yeah, I was sceptical of it, I thought, I hope, because I, I used to love Peter, and I mean I probably used to love Peter's Dragon mm. when I was little, um, but it were a musical, like, a bit like Jungle yeah. Book, like it had a lot of songs in it, and this version, the modern version, doesn't have any in it, but I think that's like, 
a cultural thing. I think musicals in films were a lot bigger mm. back in the day. Yeah. They're doing the same with Lion King, aren't they? Are they remaking Lion King? Yeah. They're doing it like... Um, a film? Jungle Book. Like a, like, yeah, yeah, like... Not animated sort of thing. Yeah, like proper Lion King. So it's a shame that, because animation's not really on... It's animations now. Well, I suppose it always has been. I it's still it's going to be the same Lion King. No, Lion no. King's a classic. It, it is a classic, yeah. It is. It's a classic for my generation, especially. Yeah. Because we kind of grew up watching it. Came out in 1997. Yeah. Year yeah. after we were born. Yeah. One year old, I was. <laughs> do you remember watching it when you were one? <laughs> of course I do. Of course I do. <laughs> what a classic you might be, that one. <laughs> God, I remember like an elephant. Um, but yeah, there's, there's obviously we could go on and on about films. Um, I could go, I could go on about films for for ages. I'm trying to think of some films that I like. I'm gonna kick myself because when I, I I'm on like recording and stuff, I always forget. I'm like, oh yeah, I could have said that. Because there's loads of films I like, but I just can't think of them. <laughs> I'm just, I was gone. My, my memory's like it's in a bit. Ta ta. Got a bit of dementia, aren't you? It's not dementia. It's just like forgetfulness. <laughs> <laughs> Forgetfulness when recording this. <laughs> <laughs> Forgetful when recording this. What um, films do you like? Might might egg me on to think of some other films. Um Bad Boys. Bad, bad Boys? Yeah. That's a shit. Classic. Thing. The both crap. Bad boys, bad boys. What was you gonna do? <laughs> I know for some reason. I think Oh, There's some funny bits in it, but I think as a, as a film, I, I don't really like it. Oh yeah. I won't go. And watch, I won't go to watch it. Like yeah. If I saw it, if I had to pick between that and a shit a shitter film, I'd pick the shitter film. Nah, you won't. Nah, <laughs> Bad Boys is great. Oh, what would good I watch? That were good. Uh, the Shallows uh, were good recently. Um, I've got the actress's name that were in it, but it basically it's like a modern Jaws. And it's just about a woman that gets um Josie's shit though, isn't it? It's shit. Yeah. It's not. It really in it's quite an iconic moment in I'm I'm quite negative, aren't you, about films. I'm like that shit. It's you, you just like a film that like it's very basic with a story. You very that's how I describe your taste. <laughs> you you like no, you like yeah, it, you're not you're not too fussed on like action big action films really, from what I can tell. Expendables, that's good. I don't like expendables. Oh no. Don't like it, never Why? liked it as a kid. Never liked it, just never liked it. I thought As a kid, it, it's only about five year old. What it's am I thinking good. of? No, it's not. It's got like Rocky Ball Bow. Oh, I, what am I thinking of? Still owning I'm thinking shit. of in the Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That little kid that's got power to the sister that's mental or something. Uh, and that baby what like just Yeah. It's like and the dad that's massive. Yeah. Expendables and Incredibles, the very sound sound of this <laughs> <laughs> But totally different. Um But yeah. Yeah, I like Expendables it's a bit it's a bit corny for me. A bit like um oh, what's it called now? Tropic Thunder. It, the very Cringy films for me. Mm. I like kind of serious films in a way. Mm. Um, I like a lot of. I can go on and on and on about my films that I like. I just can't think of any absolutely amazing ones that are my favourite at the minute. I can't think. I should have planned this out a lot better than this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should have actually thought about it before. His, his favourite films? Yeah, yeah, like nearly 40 minutes on and. Mm. We, we haven't really decided which are our favourite films. Um, a, a film that just come to my head is I like uh, Unbroken. I like war films, me. You know, like mm. true story war yeah. films. Uh, Unbroken is a good one. Um, Have you watched American Sniper? American Sniper is a good film. That's a true war film. Um, and I like... Nightcrawler is a good film. That's one of my favourite films. Nightcrawler got Jake Gyllenhaal you know, in it. Mm. Have you seen it? Yeah. You have. Mm. It's a good film that. Um, that do you know that? I know about Bin Laden. That's crap. Yeah, it's cause it's called now that. It's I know what you mean. The, the one where they get him. Yeah, yeah. That's rubbish. Yeah, I've got. It's called that. Um, zero. Zero with it. Zero ground darkness or something. <laughs> So, yeah, like that. Zero ground something, something like that. Down or something, innit? Zero dark thirty. Mm. 
And it had zero darkness in it or something. It was a bit shit. I thought it was quite good, that film. Yeah. 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 I thought it would just... Mm. I've been watching a lot of series on Netflix lately, like Narcos. Have you, have you got Netflix? Mm. About mm. Pablo Escobar. Good mm. film. Good film. Well, not film. Good series, sorry. Um, but again, that's based on true story. I like a lot of films that are like... I liked um, how, to, how to Get Away With Murder. That was great. Never watched it. Good. That, watched that's that. twisted you like that. Have you seen Stranger Things? Mm. You've seen, have you seen it? It's on Netflix. kind of like a horror thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. I can't watch it on my own, like... <clears throat> Why? I get shit scared. <laughs> it's not that scary. It, yeah, but it's the anticipation. Yeah, I suppose. Um, it's, not, it's not even that bad, though. Just break my lights, Reese, again. What's up? It just gets in way when I'm like... No, yeah, don't, don't be doing that, then. But what is it? Just, just disc... Like, just... When what? you use just, you know. What are you on about? <laughs> you just, it, it's a podcast race, they can't see what you're doing. <laughs> you're I just know. going like that, like waving your arms about. <laughs> what are you on about? Well, when you just I, I, I When you gesture a lot, you mean? Yeah, that's for me. It's not giving me enough room to use my gestures. <laughs> well, limit your gestures then. <laughs> For five minutes. <laughs> you don't need to gesture anyway, why are you gesturing? It's only me in room. I don't know. I do, I'm to be honest, I'm gesturing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got the space to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous of that space. <laughs> <laughs> it helps you get the story across. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's only really funny. It's only like funny while well, I'm doing it today. Yeah. They'll listen thinking, what are they laughing at? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Smoothly, we're going to transition from films and we're going to talk about uni. Now, me and Reese are both in the second years of uni. Um, obviously, Reese, you're, you're at Sheffield Hall, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm in Salford, which is quite a while away. It's about an hour, isn't it? About an hour, yeah. an hour and 15 minutes drive. Yeah. Something like that. So it's not too, not too far. Bit um, rough, though, isn't it? Salford. Oh, well, I can't really say that. Oh, I've just said it. Don't mind. It is rough. Yeah. It's a rough place to live, <laughs> I can tell you that. Uh, but we're just basically, I've just got a point here about expectation versus reality. You sound so dark, doesn't it, compared to films? What? So, how expectation are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, this sounds... Don't I don't get what you mean. <laughs> Favourite films, that's quite light, and then you, you and you just went down a tone. <laughs> you were like... So, yeah, but then, then we end it. Look well, what we ended it with. Don't say it, but look what we're ending it with. All right, yeah. Places, oh. places want to visit. The, it's a roller coaster, this one, ladies oh. and gentlemen. <laughs> well, you just said, don't say it, and now you've just said it. No, I'm teasing them. Oh. Because I wanted to say it. <laughs> you, you, you. Oh, I don't know. You tosser. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, I think I'll get. Myself to kick it off. So I'm going. Right, so expectation versus reality of uni. Should, let's just limit it to the, like the first year, shall we? Yeah. So, because we're only like a bit into the second year. Just yawn, Reese, halfway through it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, cheers, mate. <laughs> um, if you're bored, go. Cheers, <laughs> mate. Bye bye. bye. Um, but yeah, you go, your expectation. So, your expectation is going to be so like. Incredible, you're gonna meet loads of people that have got loads of same interests as you, which you kind of do to a certain degree, but not for me anyway. I kind of met a lot of people that were intermedia, but not the parts that I'm interested in. So it was kind of just like my first year, I did a lot of things that basically I'm doing a TV and radio course as well. So I'm I did half a semester, I did a, I did, well, I did a semester of doing radio that I weren't really that interested in it. I'm more, I'm more interested in just doing like podcast stuff and like my films. So, and then the second half of it were TV. So, you could argue that I'm on the wrong course. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just like, I don't know, there's something lacking from university. Like this, like last year, I think I ran about three days a week. Well, three, maybe four mm. days a week, if that. Maximum yeah. four days, normal, normally like two to three days a week. Yeah. Um, so they call it a full-time course, not a full-time course. Um, cause you're, you're hardly ever in there. 
Uh, the thing that gets me as well is I don't like the fact that they say they read a PowerPoint for three hours, the lecturers, and then after that they say, right, now nah, nah, just go home and, and just learn that. Don't they? <laughs> that, that's how it is. It's like they read you, they read you a PowerPoint, you go home, and you're expected to learn it. Now, I can't learn like that, and especially on like a creative course like mine, like I don't know about Reese's, but for me it's like they talk a lot, but they don't actually put the talking into practice, so we can't, we don't have a chance to get hands on with like filming equipment as, as often as, as I'd like to. But there's many more things I can talk about, but I'm gonna shoot on over to Reese Doodle Loodle. Oh. So, um, as Harrison said, I, I do, um, um, I go to Sheffield Hallam um, and I do sport development with coaching, drop the coaching side because that's rubbish, but, <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, my expectation were that it was going to be a massive jump from, yeah, like from A level to degree like yeah. within a year, yeah. but Really, the jump in that big, it's a bigger jump from year one to year two in uni, I think, than from A level to degree. Because I, I, I think it's a bit even bigger jump from G, GCSE to A level. But, um, it, yeah, like, like, like what I listened to, like, you, you get there thinking, oh, the, like, it, they say, oh, you, you're going to get loads of help or they're yeah. going to talk through everything. Like, we do have lectures in a seminar, which is for, like, a classroom and talk about everything. But then, like, after that, it's like, they expect you to go and yeah. do your own work on it. Like, Which is fair enough, but it's you're, you're paying a, a lot of money. You're paying a lot of money for something that's... Very, I feel like it should almost be like a like a a stay at home sort of course. Do you know what I mean? Like you just they could mm. Skype us from bed. <laughs> Skype us. They could Skype us from me, and I could be in bed. They could Skype us, say morning, Harrison, morning. We could both be just chilling, having a cup of tea and biscuits. <laughs> They're feeding the kids or whatever <laughs> breakfast. So um, this is what me do is. Yeah, and then, they, and then they could just say. This, we've got a list of stuff here to do, go out and film it, come back, we'll, we'll talk about what's good, what's bad about it. That's how I think a lot of people in the creative industry learn. Like, for you, I don't know, like, if you're doing sports and stuff, do you mm. do you just talk about the sports? Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you see match last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, oh, oh, um, so... How do you run them, Reese? <laughs> More like in front of us. Just, <laughs> repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> um, yeah, and we did. Um, well, we um, like as we, we couldn't really do that, as in like Skype, because we need to learn like sport policy and different like theories yeah, they, could, and they could talk to you via Skype and you could still be they could Skype everyone in so you could all be on a Skype call and they could literally just talk to you and tell you what 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 to do sort of thing yeah true like 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 you're in a lecture but you're in your own home yeah because uh, if, you, if, if you're going into uni just to be told to just to be read something and then go back and do it at home you may as well stay at home yeah cut out the middle man <laughs> and you may as well stay at home and just do it like that or other way around is get more practical at uni. I think uni should really take an interest to get more. I think they need to get get people more involved somehow. I don't mm. know what I really mean, but I, I know what I mean. In yeah, the head. I know what you mean. Yeah, it, it's like you just. I'm not saying uni's all bad. Like yeah. I think it's just because I had a bad first year that I'm I'm not selling it. Do you know what yeah. I mean? See, I had a good first year and like. I, I won't recommend lectures to anyone. I'd recommend the seminars because lectures is they just talk at you for like. Yeah, you're saying hours. that like they have an option. They don't have an option. You have to do. You have to go to your lectures and your seminars. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. Well. Yeah, but if like you're in bed and yeah, I did the choice for the two. Yeah, I know. Seminar. 
Well, a lecture is just where they talk to you about what you've got to do, and the seminar is you talk about what you've just, everyone gets a, sp a voice then, and everyone just talks about what you've just been spoken to about. Yeah, basically. And, yeah, and then like you go into more depth about it, so. And it's normally a smaller class. Yeah. Is that, I don't know if that's the yeah. same with you. Do you get split in half and you go and. Yeah. Yeah, like we've got about six seminar groups. Yeah. All together. So, so like I think the seminars are more beneficial than yeah because you get to actually talk about what you want to talk about yeah. yeah and address what you think you should be talking yeah. about the thing that's good about my uni this year is that I've got to, I don't know about have you got to choose like options like modules yeah. like in school again so with all like if you, when you're going to your second year like choose areas that you want to like advance in or learn about more um, so this is why this year I'm looking forward to it a little bit a little bit more because it's like I'm doing things that actually care about mm. whereas last year I was doing things that I didn't really even give two thoughts that, about and I didn't, that, I didn't want to be there do you know what I mean so yeah I guess first year it's just to get everyone on the same page it's just uh, like the fundament, yeah. fundamental aspects that, of it, yeah. yeah what everyone needs to know so because it is it is different like I think it differs from course to course though I do got to say that like I think it depends what you want to do but I think for the most part, most courses, the first year is very much like you're just trying to find your feet at uni, your lecturers are very chilled out about everything. It's kind of like, it's your first year in a sense, you're, when you look back is a lot less stressful yeah. than these years to come, like these yeah. two years. Because these two years, very fast paced. My yeah. course is very, very fast paced. To say we're already in as well, I'm in like a day and a half a week. Yeah. It's a very fast paced. Uh, it's a very quick turnaround for you like, to get your stuff in, um, so yeah. Yeah, like like this year, like last year we had three modules each semester. We've got six this this year, so it's like double the amount of workload each semester. So uh, this year is so much hard, like harder. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you need all in all like. For the, for the social side, it's all right if you're in with the right people and you've got like a good bunch of mates. Yeah, like all, um, like I get along with my course mates. Like they good. Like uh, we because always have. My, course this mates, year I do so. because this year is I'm with people that I'm f like fixed on doing you know, like the courses with, so they've yeah. got the same sort of outlook and mindset on things. So it's easier to talk to people that are into the same same stuff as you. Yeah. Um, but last year it was a bit more difficult. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I found that, to be fair. But I think it's, I think, I think... I'd recommend to go. Would you? Yeah. See, I won't. Won't you? Not one bit. I really, I really think the university is a place that's just bothered about money. And you're not seen as a, as, as a student, you're seen as just money. You're seen as just a number on a sheet of paper that's getting them nine grand a year plus just so they can keep going. And I think if you want to be a filmmaker, if you want to do anything in that sort of industry, or if you want to be, I don't know, like coaching or whatever like that, yeah. I don't think you need university for it. I, I really believe in that. I really think if you want something so bad that, you, that you're willing to give up time for it and proper put a lot of hard work and effort in I think you don't need a degree for that especially for me anyway for for doing films see I, I think like coaching I think all in all in coaching like it like some people do sport coaching and if someone listening who does sport coaching that's just a pointless degree just a, a, a absolute pointless degree where like you'd rather just go out get qualifications yeah I mean go out and coach and learn yourself it's like some people say that doing a, doing like my sort of course is a waste of time and I have to agree I, I kind of got a bit pressured into going to I mentioned it before I think I got pressured into sort of going to uni by my college tutors yeah they all uh, invited me into office one day and just basically said we think you should go so I'm like oh yeah maybe I should actually because I didn't really think about it I was just gonna get an apprenticeship and like get experience and work my way up and just find mm. my feet with it because this sort of industry that I want to go into filmmaking and stuff like that, it's not like a very guaranteed nine to five sort of work. It's more like you got to go out, find mm. your find your work. Some months you might be mega rich, some months you might have nothing for a couple of months. You know, what yeah. I mean? that's 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 the nature of what filmmaking is. 
And basically, once you get established and you get your name out there and people know you, that's when you start getting stuff. But I guess with uni, I bet you le- learn. The o- go on. It, it just looks on better on paper. It looks better on paper for stuff like say, I know for example, if I were to just start filming video, filming videos for weddings, mm. like I'd be on such much lower income doing that. Once I get a degree and I say to someone and, I, and I've got a lot better name for myself and I've been doing like stuff for a while doing wedding, wedding video wedding videography for a while i know that as soon because i've got a degree people will pay more because you've got the degree yeah because you're at that level of like of, of a qualification yeah it's like people think right then he's got a degree he obviously knows a bit or two yeah. about it but in the same respect i also think having just a name for yourself and being known by a lot of people and respected can sometimes outweigh someone having a degree. If you knew, if you knew someone that had a degree, and you knew someone that you knew someone that knew someone that were really well likable and you trusted, and they got on with you really well, and that really saw an idea, that were older as well, had a bit more experience, a bit more wiser, you'd probably go with the person I probably would anyway, with the person that's not got the degree, but the person that's likable and the person that's got a lot of experience and trust, mm. as opposed to a student that's just come out of university with a degree. Yeah, I'd I'd go with the older person that's more experienced, and I think that's I think that's a really important point to make. That I think if you if you want to do something that and you don't and you're not really sure if if you should get a degree, I would stress that you really weigh up the benefits of yeah. having a degree, and and thinking to yourself, is it is it really that important to me that I need this degree, or can I just work at it, work in a normal job for a bit? It might be a bit shitty for a couple of years. Make, get a portfolio, get a show reel together, then boom, you've got a name for yourself. People are wanting to work with you. Because my ultimate dream is to have a production company. That's my ultimate dream, yeah. eventually. Mm. Um, but I really feel like I've come down the wrong path for what I want to do. But what, so, what do you think? Do you think you've come down the wrong path for? Um, I, I don't think so, because I wouldn't know half the stuff Like if I didn't know uni. I wouldn't have had a clue. I wouldn't understand the world of sport. Like without uni, yeah. So like uni, like makes you understand so much more. But I think it just depends on your course and yeah, yeah, understanding of the industry before you actually got. I agree with that. Like before you go to uni. Do you think, in all honesty, like do you think you could get to where you want to be without going to university? Yeah or no? No. 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 So you 100% think you need to go to get yeah, a degree? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I, I can recommend s- some, like some roles in sport you do, like where I want to go. Like I want to either be a primary school teacher or go re- like towards the elite sport kind of yeah. role. So like, so uh, both of them roles, you need need a good degree, uh, just to uh, like even get considered. So I think I've like to be fair, when I went to uni, like I just chose my course. Like that sounded interesting. I've got no else to do. Oh, I'll go, and then I've gone and uh, like I haven't regretted it yet. But I know this year I'm gonna not enjoy it half as much well that's just because how much work and yeah. everything but yeah but I'd, I'd also recommend to have a part time job, job yeah definitely. definitely well it depends on the situation I mean it depends it depends how much student loan you get because yeah, there's people true. I know that, that, that don't work because they get too much student loan mm. I said too much because I think it is too much because I, 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 I think it's disgusting how some people just be I think it's disgusting the fact that people get less based on what the parents earn and I think it's like you say I think people that get more should should have part time work anyway just because yeah. it gives you that mentality of this is it, it gives you this is how much this is how long I have to work to get that much and I'm getting this much money through yeah. it just for doing nothing do you know what I mean yeah. and so like I, I have like quite a bit of student loan but like I still work because end it day like more money is better than I mean less money at end it day yeah exactly and, and it gives you that like I said yeah. it gives you that mentality when you go to work 
say if you do like, I don't know, I'm, you're like 16 hours a week. Yeah. Say like you do like a four hour shift, it's like 30 quid in it or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, um, it, I don't know, I just think it, I really think it grounds a person to a yeah. certain extent. It like makes you more of a humble person and not just thinking, God, I get, I get five grand extra or three grand extra and, yeah. and, and I can live off that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and not go to work. Because it just it makes me feel a bit like I'm being cheated somehow. Yeah. That I'm getting less money. I'm going out to work. And I'm still getting less than some people that are sitting in their asses getting pissed every night. It kind of makes me feel like I'm getting cheated. But then in a way, I think I'm getting I'm getting more out of this than them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm getting I I don't know. I just think, I just think they're gonna have to get a job someday, and I, and how are they gonna cope with the sort of the whole the whole thing of working like I think there's a lot of there's a lot of like basically I went to do some work experience for mm. to get like to do I did some filming um, and because obviously I work where I work in retail and I've been working there for like nearly like three years yeah it's like when I was there I knew how to act there were people there that were really shy didn't know how to talk to like people in charge they didn't know like how to say oh do you want an hand with that do you want to help help out with this there were people that just weren't like you could tell that they had part time they'd never worked before because of how they acted yeah on work mm. placement do you know what mm. I mean um, I just think I, it, it just gives you some very good life skills as exactly well. that's what yeah that's what it is it's life skills and it makes you realise just how hard people do work to get the money to, yeah. to treat themselves and stuff Speaking of working hard and treating yourself, let's go into our next point. <laughs> go on, Reese. Places you want to go, go on, I'm saying. So places I want to go, Jesus, everywhere. Literally, that, that is my answer, everywhere. Like, I think number one on my list is... The, the, the dream for me would be to do a, a road trip around America and go everywhere. Like, but obviously mm. that would take a long time to do, quite obviously. But... Yeah. That's just something I like to do. I'm, I'm, I just love America. For some reason, I just, I just want to go. Yeah. I want to go to America. I want to just travel around America. I've been to New York, um, and I went there for a week with a college. Yeah. And they were good. I liked it. I, I thought it was good. But the thing, the thing with that is that I felt like because it was like a, a a college trip. It's not an holiday holiday. No. It's like because it's structured. You can't do your own thing. Yeah. I mean, you, you, the the worst stuff you could do. Uh, because I think when I went, I think I might have been, no, 17, I think. You so did, You did it vlog. No, I filmed it, yeah, I did film it, yeah. Um, it's on my second channel, that. Yeah, Harrison, uh, Harrison's I fans. I watched that like, quite a bit, like, about a month ago or something. Did you what, watch them all? Yeah. They are, they're all a bit weird. See, no, see, I liked it, man. What, all the different themes? Like, yeah, all, look, like, like I, colours and that. I, I, um, I, I just liked how, like, each day you like, did find it, I thought it was good, mate. Oh, good. Glad you enjoyed Reese yeah. for once. Um, but for yeah. once? What are you trying to say? <laughs> you only ever enjoy him. Uh, I always... I always Reese, do... Reese is my number one critic on my videos. If you don't like one, he will say for definite, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, but you'd rather me be honest. And I would, yeah, to be fair, yeah. If I go, oh, oh yeah, that's fantastic, that. Really, it was shit. That, yeah. that, that's not being a good mate, that. Huh? Yeah, that's true. It's very true indeed. Um, you might have seen Reese in Logan Hunter as well. I forgot to mention oh, that. Oh, oh. You had a bit of an appearance in Logan Hunter, didn't you, Reese? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you call it? The Wimpy Kid. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was embarrassing. The Wimpy Kid. <laughs> the Wimpy Kid. Who did you play in Logan Hunter? The Wimpy Kid. You what? The Wimpy Kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah everyone... See, it's, it's, it sounds slightly worse than Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah. See, everyone at outside, they have quite hard names like Logan. <laughs> Logan <laughs> or, or like uh, Troopers Troopers yeah <laughs> and then, the, then they and were the, uh, evil candidate yeah then they were the wimpy kid <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that, that's a great thing to put on my CV <laughs> I played the wimpy kid yeah. <laughs> in Logan Hunter they might even mistake that for Daddy and the wimpy kid <laughs> <laughs> but yeah <laughs> oh, oh. By the way, I, I'm I'm not that wimpy. 
But I'm assuming Jay thinks I am. No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. No. With <laughs> no. The thing is, is to look at you while you don't, because you don't speak in the film. You say one word, which is trust. Yeah. So to look at you, you're very, you're very nimble. You're very, <laughs> you're very, you're very thin. You got, a, you got small bone structure. You look very broad. You know what I mean? And you look kind of kiddish. I know I can't talk because I was about twelve. You've got no facial hair. I have, I have, I have. I have shaved. I shaved this morning, Rhys. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> so basically, I just thought, who better than one of my mates? <laughs> <laughs> the, oh yeah, but you could have called it a different name. Like what? What would you rather have been called? Puff. <laughs> <laughs> Go for mine. I'll have to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Puff. <laughs> okay, um, what would you rather record that? Um, <laughs> Puff two. <laughs> Puffy. <laughs> Puff two. <laughs> Puff. Uh, Puff. <laughs> uh, when you die, he just goes. Bang! Smokes. <laughs> into the shower and just shout poo <laughs> <laughs> we're having a magic wand around right? yeah. <laughs> 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 oh god so where would you like to go race come on Um, I want to uh, New York um, I, want oh, to, I, want, I want to go to Amsterdam yeah I do but I need to go when I've there's yeah. a lot of places I want to go. I want to go to. I want to go to Amsterdam. I want to go to Ireland. I want to go to Scotland. Um, because I've never been to Ireland. I've never been to Scotland. I've never been to Amsterdam. I've never been. I've never been. I've been to quite a lot of places. that's like Spain and that. Do you know what I mean? Classic comedy though, right, isn't it? I've been to Classic Spain. Patty, package. Been to Rhodes, Mallorca, all them sorts of all them sorts of stuff. They have got a name then, but I don't know what they're called. The islands, so it's like the Canary Islands. Is that what it is? The Larrick Islands. Yeah, it's not. It's like that, yeah. but I don't know if it is them. I can't confirm. <laughs> um, I've been to been on a cruise, on a nice little Ooh. cruise. Okay. So been to the Port. Caribbean. Car- Caribbean, bloody hell! Caribbean cruise, I did. Um, I've been to Tenerife. There's a lot of places. The place I want to go are more like like Thailand. I want to go to Thailand. Cause it looks quite mm. good. Um, Iceland. I, I want to go. To, I, I literally. There's. I couldn't. If I had to say, I want to go there. I can't. Like, I don't. I, probably mm. my first go to would probably be America. I think. Yeah. A, a road trip in America. It's one of them. Um, uh, uh, America is one of me. Um, everyone needs to do to before. Yeah. Before they die. Yeah, I think that's quite true. Well, I know a lot of people that don't want to go to America. Yeah. Yeah, I know lots of people that said I'm not bothered. But I just think it. I just think it can't, can't go wrong. No, you, you pay less money, you get bigger food and yeah. meals. And that. Pretty much like England, isn't it? And it yeah, basically. Cheaper. Basically, I mean, there's just guns and that everywhere. <laughs> so it's like it's like Salford. <laughs> um, but yeah. Yeah. So um, can I say where I want to go now? You go on. Um, so I was thinking, one in America, one in Dublin. I want to go. I was looking at Dublin the other day. I want to go. I'm gonna say that like you said. I want to go. Um, to Vegas. I want to go to Vegas, me. Yeah. Mm. I want to go to Domin- Dominican Republic. I think I've been there. Okay. I want to go New Zealand and Sorry. Australia. That's a good show. New Zealand is is good. I want to go to Australia. So. Uh, on Australian road trip would be good. Mm. Yeah, it's be- huge in Australia. Yeah, it's not as big as America. Not sure. That would be like in between it's getting broke bro- down in desert, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Me and you. Yeah. <laughs> that, would be, that would be hilarious. Have you seen Kangaroo be- Jack? No. That's set in Australia, I think. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. They, they, they so if anyone's them. listening that wants to sponsor me, me and Reese to go on a road trip around America or Australia... Can I do the pitch? Go on then. Um, so can anyone support a 
a wimpy little disabled guy. <laughs> um, and uh, and I'm not sure some filmmaker called Harrison Fletcher <laughs> to go on a road trip to Australia. I'll do, yeah. Or America. Um, any money will be um, greatly appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll film it. Yeah. And I'll... You can upload it to whatever you're going to... Website. You, can't, you could even rent, rent us a car. So that, yeah. that's... Private jet. Private jet. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you've got a spare couple of quid. First class. Uh, well, we do, do not mind. Even, <laughs> even economy. It, 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 even I'll in, even sit with the suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> if if we can go on a road trip, I, I, I think that's a fair deal, mate. That's a fair deal, and we will constantly promote whatever it is that you are, <laughs> the company you represent, or, or even yourself. You can jo- join. <laughs> you can too. join it all. Yeah, I've I've got entertainment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that's good, mate. Yeah, I do. Good way to end the video. Yeah. Where can they find you, Reese, if they want to follow you on whatever? <laughs> so, my Snapchat is it's Reese. With two S's. With two S's after the it. And my Instagram is it's Reese with, <laughs> with an extra Y on the end. And my Facebook is Re- uh, Reese Goodwin. Well, there's two pages, so you can like each one. There you go. I'll link all Reese's stuff in the description down below. Um, I'll also link my stuff down there as well. There's no point in name in mine because <laughs> chance so you probably do follow it already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you whenever I see you next. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>